better than 80,000 here, not a capacity crowd, as the 1982 football season is about to begin here on ESPN. Back at a kickoff. And this is Ross deep in the end zone. The wind at the back of Mankin. Kenny Jackson and Kevin Bauer deep, and both of them possess great speed. Now, Schenefeld is not under a rush. Hangs the ball high. Good punt for him. Bow fades back inside the 30 to the 27-yard line. Breaks a couple of tackles and gets out near the 40-yard line. Are the tackles. I should say the line. Here's a little swing pass to Williams on the first play of the game. Blackledge comes out firing and nearly has a first down. Jackson wide to the right. Fake to Warner. Blackledge with the ball. Swings it out. And there goes Warner. Across the 20. Steps around a man. Touchdown, Warner. That's what they're afraid of when Warner gets past the line of scrimmage. The 40-yard screen pass to Kurt Warner. Second man through and not going and almost lost. Third down 15. Got to get 15 or kick it back to Kurt Warner and company. Reardon goes and the ball was almost caught by her. Third down 18 to go. Blackledge fakes to Warner. Throws the ball for Jackson who's caught the ball. First down 31 yard line. Made it look easy. First down at the 31 yard line and here's Blackledge again. Looking for somewhere to throw, has somewhere to throw, and hits Kevin Bow. Bow at the 15-yard line. Bow will score. 13 0 Penn State. Now Blackledge has thrown two touchdown passes, but on each occasion to a man who has turned it into a touchdown with outstanding running. Look forward to seeing Nebraska. Nebraska comes here to visit Penn State. A little bit later on. Very short kickoff this time. And is taken by. Whoops, the ball is loose. Ross took the ball. Now, for the first time, we see this set in the backfield. Blackledge keeps the ball, throws out for Williams, and perfect touchdown! <laughs> Tim Reardon, a junior out of New London, Connecticut, has never started a game, threw the ball only 30 times all last year, and he's coming up to State College against a team that was not doing it quite quickly enough. Third down 12, Reardon has to throw. In the middle of a crowd, gets the ball away and has a man at first down, Reuben McCoy at midfield. Mark Robinson makes the stop. Quick pitch back, and not very much, is it? But this is college football. It is a first down. Temple, as we begin the second quarter, they're down 21-0. First at the Penn State 24-yard line. Reardon with the football, loops it out toward the sidelines and overthrows. Short yardage, remember, McCoy in motion. Reardon going to throw on third down. Has his man, Harmon. Harmon knocked out of bounds. First and goal to go. Mark Robinson put the hit on him at about the two-yard line. Slate split in the backfield this time. Reardon rolling this way. Throws. Has Slade. Touchdown. Temple. Team plays. Ball bouncing, picked up by Bow. If he can get a handle on it at the five-yard line, which he does, he's got a lot of speed, remember. And there he goes. Not good containment at all. And he returned to as he was in the Fiesta Bowl the year before. Blackledge, now in his junior year, back, has all the time in the world, throws, and has his man. That's Greg Garrity, whose dad played here. His own 43-yard line, and wow, boots the ball. Should make it easily into the end zone, and does, as Penn State had outstanding cup. Very good. Going up in a hurry. Whoops, the ball has bounced away. They try to get on it, and I think that Brian Slade jumped right on his own ball. No, he did not. Penn State got it. Of holding Penn State. Of course, the fumble by Blackledge did not help. From 37 yards away, Manka's first try is up and is good. Well, Deep in their own territory, but almost a passing down, and that is what Reardon is going to do if he can get the ball away. Now he can run with the ball and is going to get across the 30-yard line. He's got the first down and a fine tackle by Roger Jackson. That is to tell you that ESPN on Tuesday, September the 7th, concludes its third year and begins its fourth year. From 1.4 million homes to better than 18 million, we anticipate better than 20 million by the end of the year. And in our fourth year, we'll add to what we already have, the NBA, the National Basketball Association, and the USFL football all spring long.
And we're so thrilled to be with you 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Penn State, the ball at its own 22-yard line. Blackledge to throw on first down, has a lot of options. It gets the ball out to Kenny Jackson, and Jack 20. Nice kick. Down goes Young as he takes four to seven. Penn State, but Bud, I'll say one thing. At one time, Penn State had 129 yards, and Temple had 17. At the end of the half, Temple had outgained Penn State. It's an amazing statistic, Jim. Temple had the ball 19 minutes and 21 seconds in the first half. And now Clouser to kick off, and Bow takes the ball at the four-yard line. Bow across the 20-yard line, still on his feet, and wrestled down near the 24. The motion penalties. From the 26, second down, and eight to go. Blackledge. Still has the football and loops it, and there's his man. And still on his feet is Garrity, but he's out of bounds. First down at the 47-yard line. Now Jackson starts in motion. Blackledge, fake to Warner. Looks, dumps the ball out to Jackson. Jackson's got the first down down to the 41-yard line. Up to the line of scrimmage on second down 10. He has thrown three touchdown passes. Blackledge, fake. Tailback, throws it over the middle, and the ball is knocked away from Jackson. And it belongs to Coffin, who made the interception. First down, Reardon has gone all the way. Oh, my, did Slade take a punt? Is trying to whip him up to get Penn State fired up. Here's Slade on a little delay, and he gets back to the 25-yard line. And that's Bud Wilkinson. I'm Jim Simpson. State College, Pennsylvania, the fourth quarter. Penn State 24, Temple 7. It is second down and 22 for Temple University, and that is Harmon. Not going very far at all. As a matter of fact, he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. In that third quarter, Penn State dominated. No end of the win. Hangs it up. And that is Bow. And Bow is in a gaggle of people and still gets about 10 yards coming back to the 41-yard line. Outstanding return. Zuckamoro is back and punting. Feingold puts up his hand, and the ball rolls out of bounds inside the five. Giacomero does it again on the three, and again, Temple has terrible field position and ability. Look at Harmon running for 68 yards. Not a bad afternoon against a Penn State defense that's almost intact. There's Reardon, and he's going to be sacked. That is Scott Radisick, the inside linebacker. Reardon has lost the football. And maybe Penn State's got it. Reardon came away without the football, and Walker Lee Ashley may have jumped on it. Oh, they come out on the power eye. The other two times, Warner has gone in motion. This time, he goes in motion the other way. And Blackledge looks to the right, throws to Williams. Easy touchdown. Penn State has not piled up impressive yardage overall. Not at all. Here's Reardon. Reardon looking. Reardon cutting. Reardon throwing. Brown diving touchdown catch. Reggie Brown in front of Charlie or Chris Sidner, number 27, the sophomore, and credit that. Being off the bench. And here's Mumford carrying the football, and that's going to be the end of the game right there. And this statistic is Penn State's, not ours. Today, Penn State has been on ESPN for the eighth time and has won its eighth game. Final score, Penn State 31, Temple 14 in the first game of the 1982 season. The crowd on the field, Penn State will get Maryland next week. And Temple moves on against Syracuse. And there goes Todd Blackledge, who won our Vitalis MVP most of the time. It has been Kurt Warner, but today it belongs to Todd Blackledge, who was superlative at quarterback. Couldn't have much better game than that. But he won to 14, the final.